I'm just beginning to think more and more with each passing day that this is Mahomes' moment, and and it's tough to shake me off that right now. I, I think uh, I know that I, I think the Chiefs are going to win, and I'm in lockstep with you about Mahomes, but I'm curious, all the people you work with on the NFL Network and, and that you have on your show, you have these Hall of Famers. Are they blown away by Mahomes' talent, or is it just the layman oh, yeah. that is? Oh, no. I mean, it, it, honestly, he's a freak, Michael. I mean, he's an absolute freak who, who can throw the ball a country mile. He's a guy that can also run. And, again, uh, I, I went a little crazy um, in terms of hyperbole in the moment, which is what could happen on Twitter. Um, I thought that 27-yard run at the end of the first half in the AFC Championship game was one of the greatest plays I've ever seen, uh, period. And I think we'll, we'll go down as one of the greatest plays in the history of of the playoffs now of course you know what comes back is that the tackling was horrible they were trying to strip the ball from him but in the history of the nfl there's been it's the longest touchdown run by a quarterback in the last minute of any half of any playoff game and it gave the chiefs the lead right before halftime it gave them the lead for the first time in a game in which they were down 10 nothing after you got that oh no here we go again uh, feeling based on the fact that it was a 24 nothing deficit the week before. I mean, the guy is truly unbelievable. And the way that he runs and how fast that he runs, you forget that the uh, earlier in October, his kneecap was on the side of his freaking leg, yeah, yeah. you know? And, so true. And, and you forget that. Like, you've got to be kidding me. This season was supposed to be over. I mean, how in the world is he back and let alone doing that? And again, in the same way that he erases the mistakes and he also erases convention. Again, convention will tell you when you've got a kid this young and this talented and this good that when you are three weeks removed from his kneecap being dislocated, you don't put him back into the starter's role a week before you head to Mexico City and two weeks before there's a bye week. You, you sit him out. You get through it with Matt Moore, which, by the way, he was acquitting himself very well in those three games that he started for Kansas City, but no, throw him out there in Tennessee, and what does he do? He throws for 400-some-odd yards against Tennessee, and there were some mistakes that cost him the game, but he does go down to Mexico City and make the requisite amount of plays uh, to win that game, and then he takes a bye week, and then he goes on a run where um, he just tears it up, and uh, again, that's every single time I say I'm not going to go down that wormhole and say this kid is that special and is the true difference maker. I mean, he really is he and Bosa are the, the two guys that are the most difference-making individuals on the field, in my mind. And that's saying a lot with somebody who's like as fast as Tyreek Hill and both of these special tight ends. Mahomes is the one who can erase convention as well as the normal mistakes that tears a team down.